fellow noobs, it's your boy Ray the Rookie, and I got some Shining Residence Refrain gameplay for you, like always. Um, last time we I ended on episode 1, where we met Yuma, Sonya, and Kiruta. So now we're just going to pick up back where we left off, and let's get it. So yeah, we just saved them from Excella and Trishula, but she has three dragons. And somehow he was able to turn... Yuma turned into a dragon. Which is pretty badass. This is like a music type game if you see the title. Your Highness, this is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on, Melchior? Eight? No, nine years? Oh, not George, it's your... Because it's no Nine either. years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. I'll hear objections. Damn, she rolled up in his bar telling him, Boy, I own you now. I have none, Your Highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If his majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon, I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet, not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Hmm. Explain That's this weird. to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Bro, is it in all caps, SHINING DRAGON HIMSELF, bro, you know you're in trouble for that. Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him, yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly, we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Yo, something no smell right. They plot in certain. They plot in certain. I don't. They don't see Still, like. the shining dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you? I wonder. Hey, we talking about the shining dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Hmm. Huh? Zest, you're mm, late. I'll, I, this is the guy with the guns. Respect. I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of her highness. I want him on our team so bad. I want to use his guns. Already crawling up my back, Yorg. I'm not going to be rude. Promise. Damn. Typical nonchalant dude. He's, he's going to go on our team. I feel it. It's all people like him that they, they, they start off bad and then they end up being good. Hey, Princess, you brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Yeah. Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. <laughs> he fled before any true test of strength could be had. Damn. 
But the Spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. No, what they said was, if we fight him, we will die. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't try to downplay it. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Boy, you better hit show. Tell me what my wife is, bro. She might destroy you. Zest, I told you to mind your tongue. Boy, he don't care. What? Just calling it like I see it. Facts. Zest. Fine, fine. I'll just go. Later. I like that guy. I want a college player. He's late. York, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Just say he doesn't take lip, he's blunt. He doesn't play games. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, Beatrice. Standing by, sir. What the hell she come from? I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. She can play with shadow? Mm. I love, with I me, love then. shadow powers. That's Let's be off. Those who know me know anytime I make a character, D, D, whatever, there has to Let be some shadow ability. Before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that. They plot in something. They plot in something. But these graphics are beautiful. Compared to what I saw, like, cause remember this is just a remaster essentially. I remaster and like I added they added a lot of stuff. And it actually looks really good. And I'm I'm pretty excited to see playing reframe mode if things change. Does it still hurt? You're safe now, I promise. What's going on? Did he collapse? Hey, no moving! Stop! You'll reopen your wounds! I see. I'm having... a dream? Which means this is... back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Who is it? Oh... No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, all right? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? Who is that? I wonder. Hopefully... She probably uh, might be a healer. Uh, Dad, I'm thinking about it. Oh, your radiance. You're awake. W where? You're in Marga, your radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika, your radiance. 
All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. So you might, you might have Diva like a singer, right? Mm. That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. Mm. So this game needs a lot of. It's a lot based on music, so if you know about music, you know about all those kind of things. That's the whole like melody, like refrain and all that kind of stuff. That's where the name comes from. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. See, songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new diva magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore. Historical texts. So basically, they're, they're singing history. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt off, empty. But then I met you, Your Radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and and now you're really here. Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Um, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Oh. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. I want to know the backstory. Someone doesn't seem like it. I'll take care of this to drag me to Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh. Oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! And that was Primula. Her mother, Emma, runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Oh my, good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you like wouldn't wake up, you know. Oh, don't you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. Oh, yes, so I think her name is. The princess? In time, Your Radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does I'll that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? I mean, she got red, bro. You better hook that up. Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here. Why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche. Crown princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. I it's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? Y you got it. But uh, what's the crown princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. Hey, Primula's the G. She said, boy, you better respect the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneer's? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer, too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. Cool. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? 
your future? Whoa, take him on a date for us. Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. Facts. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yama? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay, wherever you want to go, point the way. What do these traits do? Welcome, Sir Yu. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble home. Yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. That's the short version. Yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. It's almost like the finding the Shining Dragon will have to turn about in the war. It's going to be good for then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I respect that. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. And you wanted to go back? Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. True. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh... Well, Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? I really, I do. Yeah. If you've come this far just to clam up, ugh! Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. True, what? That is true no, uh, I didn't mean... She just wants him to speak up without being so cowed. Grow some balls. No, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. Mm. In the end, you did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, take whatever time you need. See the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. I'm down for it. I can tell you. Yes, if you say so, Your Majesty. We can afford to We're gonna save the city. So I can fight Excella, make her join my team, and make her my best. Marvelous. 
seaside. Oh, Margie the plate. I thought it was Margie the plate. So. Ooh, she looks like um, the chick from Tales of the Syria. She? Uh, something looks like uh, Velvet, yeah, Sony looks like Velvet. And Maggie Lou, that I wish they should show with like Maggie Lou. Hey. So welcome to Mark. Take a look. Selection and affection. Oh, the album is nice, so that I mean, I can make stuff. Nice. So this is where I would come to make, uh, make items, like potions and all that good stuff. He also makes weapons too. So. I 
I see you, Apple. I'm gonna tell her, Mom. I'm gonna tell her you trying to get that. Okay. Nice. Okay, I see. I'm see you around. Thanks. Thanks, little man. We out. I'm okay, I see. I'm gonna get you some. Alright. Maggie Lee. Oh, hi. It's Maggie Lee. I'm sorry, guys. Just, just, Oh, her eyes. One's green and one's red. So she buys and sells. She's a merchant. She's like the person I guess you buy items from. Why she so mean? She looks so awesome. Welcome. Take it back. I like this. See, I like stuff like this. The game is simple. Look at this. Just come here. This one. Stuff that doesn't have too much. Take it back. Oh, she also has a good night. Good night for the time. Good night for crafting. Have a nice day. Oh, what's this? Is this for me? Wow, the end was right there. Oh, oh no, because I went to see back. the king. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Ah, about time. Yo. You're our dragon boy, then. Why, my man looks whole. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Uh, hi. Hopefully it it's, teaches uh, him how to use his Nice dragon. to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain. If you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. Oh, time what? to kill a monster? Let's do it. <laughs> More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Nah, I'm probably super strong, so you need your boy. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. And when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted Dragoneer. You can always rely on them. New Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm hmm. Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancients so they could protect themselves. True. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The elves of Welland have another three. And the last one's in the care of that imperial princess. Welland? Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, Astoria and Wellentine relations are peaceful. The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. Mm -hmm. At any 
any rate, I should I go and see about this something big. Dude. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. No, I want to fight. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe. What? Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Hence, I have to My lady, her. wait! Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward, are you letting the princess totter <laughs> off into danger all on her own? Yo, but boy. she said she was just scouting, so. Yo, these niggas stay roasted as they can be such a bad yeah. No excuses. Get after her right now, boy. Hop to. Boy. Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? Stop being a girl. I do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Ooh, Arguing friend. will only make him grumpier. Fine, fine, I'll go. I'm going. I just music. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates. So you like to play your own bond diagrams. Can I view the, t the tutorial for the sequel at any time? Nice. So I think it'll kill some mods. Hello. Oh, that's a telework from the T-Sat, right? That's my boy, I mean. That was awesome. I like you. There's like a little one of those scenarios that happen. So you need to know the character. How do you do? So cute. That's a good one. Alright, let's see. Yeah. 
to the second.
Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> Rap who's trying to scum. Yeah, Rap was about to be my new best friend. Yeah, he he he's done. I want to talk to him. I feel like you're gonna help him do something. There's some dynamic that I'm definitely gonna Hey!
I honestly don't know what just happened. I don't know how you want Berserk. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. That's why. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. Looks that way. Thank you, Yuma. You were a big help. Let's go report back to Burroughs now, huh? There's no need to return to town. We can give our report right here, actually. <sighs> I've been made, eh? I knew it. Captain Burroughs, what are you doing here? You I'm begging your forgiveness, my lady. Killing monsters wasn't the only thing you were doing out here. I wanted to see Yuma and the Shining Dragon in a real fight, you understand. I see. That's why you were so adamant about this. Yep. Figured a monster sighting was as good a chance as I was gonna get. I suspected as much. Captain Burroughs, don't you think that's extremely unfair to Yuma? You tell him too, Kirika, how it's an affront to the Shining Dragon's honor or, or something. Nope. Yes and no. What he's that may be so. For. But his radiance has blessed us with his sublime presence, his holy splendor. I knew of Sir Burroughs' plan, but said nothing so that I might lay eyes on his radiance again. I'm not certain I have any place chastising the good captain for his actions. <laughs> Lay eyes on she wanted you to listen to me. Whatever. See, Fine. See. Fine. Yeah, we'll no, talk about it later. Like Let's just head back to the castle for now, okay? And I'll be sure to mention it to my father. How bravely you fought alongside us, Yuma. And that's good. Yeah. Amy approaching. I shall be your home. Oh, you must learn I learned the new force Let's see what this new force move is and I will do something to I'm 
I want to be more about the shadow. That's good. Oh, I don't want to be more about the shadow. But I think this is where I'm going to stop the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys didn't see episode 1, I'm going to leave a link in the uh, in the description of the card, please check it out. Support your boy. This game is awesome. I'm gonna keep recording videos and I'm gonna drop it every Tuesday for you guys. And Monday, what I'm gonna do is Mondays I'll drop a Monster Hunter video like I normally do. Starting next week, I'll drop. I'll continue the the beat Monster Hunter series where I fight uh, each monster with different weapons to finish it on the set. Then I will be going to every Tuesday to be starting for a uh, I'm still deciding the game for Wednesdays and Thursdays. What I might do is I have Octopath Traveler, which I might do, which I might record for you guys. And I also have Wednesdays. Sorry, when, yeah, Wednesdays I'll probably do uh, Sword Art Online. Wednesdays um, I have. Fatal Bullet, so I'll definitely be playing that for you guys. Tuesdays you'll have, so just let me recap it before I forget. Mondays will be starting next week. Monster Hunter Mondays will return. Shining Residents will frame Tuesdays. Sword Out Online Wednesdays. And depending how I feel, what Thursday or Friday, I might start streaming again. I might stream, you know, my hunts with my family. Or I might stream stream Fortnite. Or, uh, you know, stream other games that I have, maybe stream Zelda, um, because it's my first time playing as other game I've never played before, so I like that shit I experience with you guys. So yeah, so please, you know, like, share, subscribe, just help me try to build my channel, I'm just a new, we're all trying to level up in this world. So, this is Ray the Rookie, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you just got some experience with this. Thanks for watching, Senpai. Oh!